any father, whether he's farmer or in some other business, takes a lot of pride in what his kids do. It's in my blood, obviously. It's in my son's blood. Brings you lots of happiness. Growing up on a farm, it was incredible. I loved my childhood, it was fun. Hearing my dad's truck, it was always late in the evening, um, and we would run up to the end of the road and hop on the tailgate and ride down the rest of the road with him. That moment when you're driving home in the truck and dad's there and the windows are rolled down and there's cool air and, um, yeah, it's, it's special moments and I've got a lot of memories of those. My family's been farming as far as back as I know. They, my grandfather came to Kelowna in 1903. Just what the family does, as they say. My grandfather uh, grew tree fruits. I think everything that uh, dad learned, he learned directly from, from grandpa for a while. Um, farming families, yeah, they all learn from each other. Land for a, a farmer is where it all starts from. The first time I was on this land, just walking across the ground, it's incredibly rock-free and smooth and, and, and fertile. The soil is magical stuff. He said, I took a handful of soil and, and it just felt right, it looked wonderful. And he said, you know, if my dad were still alive, he would move up here in an instant. Dad, he would have been here. This would be just like going home. That was a special day. It stuck with me. And so this is where we are and this is where we'll stay. So in 2013, my dad, my brother and I founded Speakeasy. Speakeasy purchased 290 acres from the family farm. The ground here in Rock Creek is spectacular. It's, it's beautiful for growing cannabis, beautiful. Uh, the Golden Mile just over the hill is one of the most fertile areas uh, in Canada. And we are 40 kilometers, 30 kilometers uh, as a crow flies away from Canada's only pocket desert. It's a perfect climate, tons of sunshine, lots of heat, cool at the right times, but not too extreme and very little rain. It's just the best place in Canada or in North America to grow the crop we grow. Before we even knew about cannabis, uh, marijuana being grown, it was grown all around here. There is an area up uh, Nicholson Creek, and the marijuana that was grown up there was known in California as Nicholson Creek Gold. It's just a weed. Cannabis is just a weed. Why are you getting all so excited about it? They used to say, it's just a weed. I've been farming, uh, you could say, all my whole life. By the end of high school, the one thing I knew for sure I didn't want to be was a farmer. Uh, it wasn't until I planted my first quarter acre. Yeah, I was hooked at that point. It went from this is the worst occupation I can even imagine um, to this, I, there's nothing else in life. This is what I'm doing. I have big shoes to fill. Uh, my dad set uh, a stride that is, is hard to keep up with. He's really imprinted on me the value of hard work. I uh, got on the board of Sunripe uh, around 1989, I think. In 92, I became chairman. With Merv as chairman of the board of Sunripe, he helped the growers to transition between a co-op to a multinational branded company. It was a sort of a safety net for farmers, a boon if they kept their shares or, or received their dividend. There's a picture of my dad handing my grandmother the shares. That was probably something they didn't understand fully at the time, but uh, I'm certain it made a difference in their lives. How's it going? I always think that you look after your employees and they look after you. And that's something I know Merv has done all his life. Our middle son, Mark, is exactly the same way. Everybody that works here is an extension of the family. We want to make sure that we're protecting them as best we can and, and we're there for them and, and they're there for us. With uh, rural areas dispersing and heading to the cities, 
there was talk of the schools, you know, having to close down, and one did, and this is sort of working in reverse, and we're bringing people back. It's made a big impact on the people in this community. We're now the largest uh, employer in the area. It's really kind of cool. Speakeasy is the, the crop that I'm growing. The quality of this company is what I focus on. With the, the generational farming from my family, from the, the, the incredible growers that we have, uh, bringing all these things together in a cooperative environment, I don't think this has ever been done anywhere in the world and we're just psyched about being part of it. It's incredible. I am so proud of these boys. I'm so proud of what they've been able to do and it's just beginning for them, I hope. This definitely isn't just a farm. This is not a place of work, it's my home. I just feel so fortunate to be excited every single morning uh, to come to work. This is, it's, it's Valhalla. <laughs>